Hey, what is up, mortals? It is WAS Demons here with a new video for you. Welcome to part one of What If Deku Was the Ghost Rider. Just wanted to greet you guys by saying sit back and relax. You're in for a treat. So, let's begin. The sad truth is that we aren't all created equal. When I was a kid, I learned that there are people with more power than others. I was a kid with no power, but things have changed since that one fateful day. The day I damned my soul to save a friend. The day I became the Ghost Rider. But despite that, I tried to use the power I have to save lives, and tried to be the hero I aspired to be. Alright class, it's time to start taking things seriously about your future. I could pass out aptitude tests, but why even bother? We all know you want to be heroes, says the teacher. The teacher throws the papers into the air, and the class starts cheering, showing off their quirks. On the other hand, Izuku Midori and Katsuki Bakuyo are not engaged as the rest of the class. Ayo, teach, don't lump me in with the rest of these deadbeat losers. The most they'll ever accomplish is being wannabe sidekicks to a busted D-list loser, says the loud chihuahua. The rest of the class does not react to this statement fondly. That's when Bakugo threatens to take them all on. Well, you do have some impressive test results, and your quirk is pretty powerful. Maybe you will get into UA, the teacher says to the boy. Oh yeah, Midoriya, aren't you also trying out for UA? The teacher called the boy out in front of the entire class. Dick move, by the way. Bakugo froze and was dumbfounded. The rest of the class started laughing at him. Explosion are popping from the loud chihuahua's hand as he smashes it into the green-haired boy's desk. Listen up, you worthless twat! You're worse than the rest of these no-good rejects! You think someone like you will ever get in when they have someone like me? N no no it's not like that at all. It's just that I just wanted to be a hero since I was little. Even without a quirk, I can still at least try, right? The green-haired boy replied back. You'll never be on par with the top! You'll just end up dead in the exams! shouted the menacing blonde. After the class had ended, Zuka was scrolling through an article about a villain attack he witnessed before heading to school. He was ready to put his journal away until Bakugo showed up and grabbed his notebook and his goonies appeared right behind him. While Bakugo's goonies were making fun of Zuku, the boy proceeded to burn the quirkless boy's journal with his explosions and then threw it out the window. Beginning heroes show potential early on. People look at them and know they're destined for greatness. When I get into UA, people will start looking at me like that and know I'm the next big thing. So here's some advice. Don't apply, or else. If you want to be a hero that badly, just pray to be a hero in your next life, or take a swan dive off the building. Izuku goes down to get his notebook while contemplating to himself, pretty sad and upset from what Bakugo said. Izuku starts to head home. On the way, he goes through a small road tunnel, laughing like a madman. While doing that, he hears something behind him and sees a sludge creature forming right behind him. Hey, kids, I'm going to take your body. Don't struggle. It'll be easy if you don't fight back. It won't hurt after a minute. You'll feel better soon. The scene looks like it came straight out of some tentacle hentai. Izuku had a mouthful of sludge, trying to grab it off, but to no avail. He was losing consciousness, but before he completely passed out, he sees the silhouette of All Might appearing in front of him. Have no fear, for I am here! A blonde buff man appears from the sewer system. Texas SMASH! The hero punches the villain with so much force that it sends the villain splattering everywhere, saving the boy. When Izuku wakes up from his near-death experience, he asks for an autograph before noticing that the hero had already signed his book. All Might was about to leave, but Izuku wanted to ask All Might a very important question. But he had already hopped off, so Izuku grabbed onto his leg, holding on for dear life. All Might saw this and kinda got annoyed and hopped into a nearby rooftop so he could get off. Not a smart move, kid. Bang on the door until someone opens it. I've gotta go. See you on the flip side, said the number one hero. Wait, not yet. There's something I want to ask. The green-haired boy said. No, I have to leave, All Might said back. I have to know, C can I ever become a hero, oh, though I don't have a quirk? I want to be the hero who can save people with a smile on my face, just like you, asked the boy, hoping to get the answer he was looking for. The hero turned his head back and detransformed, turning into a skeleton-looking man. Izuku screamed and accused him of not being the real All Might. That's when the hero explained his injury and how it shortens his hero duties. Then he gives the same depressing speech he does in canon, crushing the boy's dreams. When All Might heads down the stairs, Izuku sees a large gust of smoke in the distance and hears a loud explosion. Izuku was walking off, crying to himself, having his dreams crushed by the person he admired the most. 
While walking, he comes across the scene of the sludge villain. He thought that All Might captured the villain, then realized that All Might dropped it, and it's most likely his fault, which depresses him even more. While blaming himself, he sees Bakugo and immediately rushes off to help him with no hesitation. The boy tries to pull the sludge from his childhood best friend. This time I'll make Serial stay down, kid! While slowly dying again, he hears a voice in his head. Izuku Midoriya. You aren't going to be able to save your friend or yourself without power. In a world such as this, being powerless will ultimately lead to your downfall. Before we continue, I'd like to introduce you all to our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Adobe. Adobe is redefining the digital experience through game-changing innovations that shape the next generation of storytelling. Adobe makes it easy to create, edit, and share digital documents securely, allowing you to collaborate and communicate across devices. Adobe Photoshop is your go-to application for faster graphics editing and digital art as a whole. At We The Celestials, all our thumbnails across every channel are created with Adobe Photoshop. Adobe Premiere Pro is a timeline-based and non-linear video editing software application that is versatile and easy for beginner and master editors. Finally, Adobe After Effects is the industry standard tool for digital visual effects, motion graphics, and compositioning applications used in post-production. Many of our voice actors, audio editors, and video editors use Premiere Pro and After Effects to produce these high-quality videos. Click the link in the description to start creating now, and thank you to Adobe for sponsoring this video. What? Who are you? What do you mean? Izuku asked in his head while slowly dying. Like your favorite hero said, some villains can't be beaten without powers, so can you be a hero? Not without a quirk. But it's your lucky day, I'm willing to give you power if you desire so, if you're willing to pay the price. And as for who I am, I am the devil, said the demonic being. You're the devil? Dear God, I'm losing my mind, said the green-haired boy in worry. God has nothing to do with this, kid. Wait, you're real? L let me guess, the price is my soul. You catch on pretty quick, kid, the devil said back. I, I don't know if that's what I want, Izuku said in worry. Well, you better decide now. Your friend is about to die. Wait, wait! Oh, okay, okay, I'll do it. I, I need to save Kachan, Izuku said with no hesitation. No hesitation. I like that. A menacing smile came upon the being's face, sending shivers down Izuku's spine. All Might was about to jump in to save the two, but something happened. Shock appears on everyone's faces, even shocking the villain. Izuku starts burning up, so he's forced to let go of the boy. Shoes bursting into flames. The boy's giving off a demonic scream, skin smoking and peeling off. The villain tries to get away from the boy and momentarily stops suffocating Bakugo for a moment. All Might rushed in to try to help the boy, but when he made contact with Izuku, he got burned and backed up. When he finished his transformation, he let out a loud growl and said, Let Kachan go! In a demonic voice. Everyone is scared shitless. All Might, the heroes, the civilians, Bakugo, hell, even the villain. Even though the villain was pretty freaked out, he didn't falter. What are you gonna do if I don't? Send you to hell. This statement gave the villain the shivers of a lifetime. He felt like he shouldn't mess with this guy, so he let Bakugo go. All Might was shocked and admittedly a little freaked out, but he composed himself and spoke to Izuku. Hey kid, your friend is safe now. You don't have to worry about the villain anymore. I'll handle this. No, his soul is stained with innocent lives. I can see he has killed so many people that didn't deserve to die. He deserves penance, Izuku said back to All Might. And he will, so please let me handle this. I will make sure he gets locked up behind bars so he cannot hurt any more people, said the blonde hero. Izuku nodded and went back to his normal human form before passing out. All Might went to collect the villain that was scared straight and was thinking to himself, I thought that kid said he was quirkless. I don't think he was lying about it, so he must have awakened the quirk when he was almost killed. I wish I wasn't so weak so he and his friend wouldn't have to go through that hell even for the second time. But his power, it seems like he has the potential to be powerful. Burned my hand for God's sake, but Recovery Goa could probably heal it. Maybe I should help him control his power, but it honestly freaks me out. Bakugo was shocked. He felt like Izuku was hiding his quirk from him the whole time. 
This made the explosive blonde angry. After a minute, Izuku woke back up and collected himself. He remembered everything that happened and how he made a deal with the devil. After the realization, he tried to run off home to collect himself. The heroes tried to stop and question him, but All Might told them to let him go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what did I do? I made a deal with the goddamn devil! Izuku shouted while walking home. Bakugo caught up with Izuku and confronted him. Deku! What was that? You had a quirk this whole time? You've been looking down on me this whole time? Who do you think you are? Deku was scared to tell him what happened, but ultimately did so because he had no one else to talk about it with, and considering he did to save his life, that was not a quirk, Kachan, he said in a shaky tone. Oh yeah? Then how do you explain that? Bakugo retorted back. I, I sold my soul to the devil so I could try to save you, Izuku said, telling the truth. Bakugo grabbed onto Izuku's collar and pulled him towards himself. Don't fucking play with me, Deku! You think I would believe something s as stupid as that? I'm not! I, I signed away my soul for you! I, I wasn't going to do it at first until you said you were dying! So, so I d d did what I had to do! Izuku said back with tears in his eyes. The boy sh is shivering in fear of what he did. Bakugo noticed his shakings and anxiety. Alright then, Deku. We can talk about this later. Maybe tomorrow before school. So you better show up at my house so we can talk. He said in a surprisingly calm tone. He's not sure if the green-haired boy was delusional or something, but he could tell that he wasn't joking around. All Might was listening to the whole thing in the background and was stunned by what he heard. He hadn't jumped in to give his fabled speech. The explosive blonde was about to walk away until the area started getting cold. Extremely cold. Izuku recognized the presence, but this was sending a massive chill down Bakugo's spine. N n no it's you! The boy was shaking with fear. Don't worry, I won't have you collect for me. For now, at least. But I have a gift for you, free of charge, he said with a creepy smile. A motorcycle appeared right next to Izuku by itself. It's an old school ride, at least old school for your human standards. A 1935 Indian chief. Every ghost rider needs a ride, after all. Also, you over there looking in the corner. Train this boy well, because this does involve you. Well, sort of. Bakugo was about to jump the man, but he disappeared. Izuku and Bakugo were wondering what the being was talking about, only to see the number one hero appear. He had worry on his face, not showing a smile. He was worried about the green-haired boy. As the sun was going down, Izuku started to transform. The boy screamed and let out a loud roar. Flames blew out of his mouth and covered his head as he transformed into the Ghost Rider. He hopped on the motorcycle to see that it was also transforming. This stunned Bakugo and All Might as Izuku rode off, not knowing what to do at the current moment. Thank you all for indulging yourselves in all this information thus far. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, there are a few more things that I'd like to go over before the video ends. Firstly, I'd like to thank our patrons. BD Flames, Ethan Davis, Terry Chills, Shifter Meals, Adam Zagel, Zavbeat03, Zill, and Joshua Phelps. Secondly, I'd also like to thank all of our YouTube members. Toya Costa, Rob the King, Sithlord906, CF2364, and Knuckles, Riemueu Tempest, Angel Juarez, Donald C. Stewart, Bryant Greer, and Reef and Feek 135. Thirdly, if you're in the mood for some great storytelling, We the Celestials has you covered. Our We the Celestials, My Hero Academia, and Naruto What Ifs channels retell the story of their namesake anime with a twist. Check it out if you're interested. Fourthly, on behalf of We the Celestials, I'd like to thank everyone involved in today's excellent content production. Their details can be found in the description below. Lastly, if you're interested in what we do here at We The Celestials, I'd like to extend an invitation to join the team. The only caveat is that we only accept members from 16 years old older to join our crew. You can sign up for whichever category fulfills your interest by joining the recruitment discord using the link in the description below. We're always looking for members to join us. Well, that's it from us for today's video, so thank you all for watching, and have a great day!